Hey, Dr. Berg here again. In this video, we're going to talk about autoimmune conditions. It's a very complex situation for most people. Uh, there's, there's basically autoimmune is the body is developing antibodies, which are things immune wise that attack your own tissue. So it's kind of like having an allergy to your own tissues. So if you had autoimmune of the thyroid gland, um, it would call it, be called Hashimoto's where the, your cells, your immune system cells are killing off your own thyroid and they're creating inflammation. Or if you have um, another type of thyroid condition, it's called Graves, <clears throat> where your body is attacking itself. Or sarcoidosis, where your body has antibodies against your lungs. Or you have MS, multiple sclerosis, where you have antibodies against your own nervous system or lupus against the connective tissue in your, t uh, in your body, or rheumatoid arthritis, you have antibodies against your own joints, or Cushing's, you have antibodies against your own adrenal glands. So <clears throat> I wanna just kind of um, take this complex problem and dissect it. One of the things that I do for complex problems is I'll take one piece of the problem and I'll try to figure it out, and then usually that will help me f look at other areas of the problem, so we eventually the whole thing could be understandable. So I'll, I want to take one little piece of the autoimmune and try to understand it more. So let's just take one point about the autoimmune conditions. If you take any of an, any autoimmune conditions, which I've had hundreds and hundreds of people come in with autoimmune conditions, and I always ask them, when did it start to get the clue? And they always tell me, it happened after a stress event, and I found that very interesting. Usually after a loss of a loved one, a divorce, a severe injury, a loss of a job. So, so it's, it's definitely triggered by a stress thing, okay? So stress can activate autoimmune. Uh, I've never found a condition where they didn't have some, something like that. And losses are a thousand times more stressful than any physical trauma that could ever be. Um, that's why people can get stuff, stuck in a loss for many, many years and grieve and grieve and cry and things like that. So it's very, very, very stressful, okay? Now, number two, how are autoimmune diseases treated? Well, one of the most common treatment they use is cortisol or prednisone. What is that? That's adrenal hormones. So now we got two situations, we got stress and it's treated with the adrenal hormones. <clears throat> what is, what, what gland uh, does stress affect on the body? The adrenals. So really, those losses, those stressful events, severely damage the adrenal gland. The treatment for autoimmune is adrenal hormones. Well, right there, now we're starting to unravel this mystery and make this a little bit less complex. Now, let's get into because the um, autoimmune conditions are immune related, let's take a look at what controls your immune system. What parts of your body? Well, you have the thymus gland, you have the spleen, you have um, the bone marrow, you have the gut. But did you know the adrenal gland controls the immune system as well? Yeah, the adrenal gland controls the white blood cells. In fact, I'm reading right now biological actions of the adrenal hormone, cortisol, it says that the adrenal glands um, release antibodies from the, from the lymph nodes and they create a decrease. If the adrenal glands are overworking, they will create an overall decrease in antibody production. Interesting. And also, when you have a dysfunctional adrenal, you will lose the barriers to the immune system and it makes your body more susceptible. That's interesting. So based on these three things, autoimmune conditions are really adrenal situations, even though they affect the different tissues. So when people have Hashimoto's, for example, they'll start treating the thyroid, but they never look at the adrenal. They ne never look at the stress part of this. When I think about adrenal, I'm really thinking just about stress, accumulation of stress in the body. Um, so, I think really what causes autoimmune is a stress state which then causes the adrenal gland to dysfunction 
and causes a loss of control of the immune system because it lowers your susceptibility and all sorts of things can happen when you do that uh, because you have no more barriers to the immune system. So you could have um, microbes come out, viruses come out of remission and just hammer that gland and you can have all sorts of dysfunctional things. So that's my <clears throat> uh, two cents on what causes autoimmune. Now, what I'm going to recommend for you if you have an autoimmune condition is do an experiment on yourself. Talk with your doctor and, and, and start to go in the direction of improving your own body stress and just see what happens to your condition. See if you can put this condition back in remission because a lot of these conditions can go in remission, which means they're more viral. <clears throat> start to do things to improve stress rather than treat the condition directly with drugs and things like that. Just my recommendation, you don't have to do it, but I'm just telling you that um, I've seen good success with instead of treating the condition, reducing the stress state, changing the environment, uh, doing things to get over that loss of a loved one. And you may find that these conditions greatly improve, okay? So I hope that helped you. I will see you in the next video.